Around 1450 BC, a consuming fire descended upon Mount Sinai. The Creator Himself came down and made a covenant with the children of Israel. With His own finger, He wrote His covenant, the Ten Commandments, and instructed that it be placed in a golden receptacle known as the Ark of the Covenant, a container for the covenant and the very throne upon which His presence was to dwell. The chosen people of Israel became invincible, a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. Some 800 years later, Israel had fallen away from its obligation to that covenant. And due to idolatrous abominations, the combining of pagan worship with that described in the first four commandments, the presence of God left the mercy seat, and with it, the protection of Israel. In the year 586 BC, the Babylonians took the city of Jerusalem, but not the Ark of the Covenant, for it had mysteriously vanished, seemingly without a trace. On January 6, 1982, at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, I broke into a chamber beneath the Calvary Escarpment, north of the city wall of Jerusalem. In that chamber is the Ark of the Covenant, the Table of Showbread, and several other things that I didn't see. They were covered with animal skins, with boards, and then with stones. We had excavated down that escarpment. We had found three cutouts in the wall, like a recessed bookcase. We know from the valley north of Jerusalem that the ancient kings and rulers cut these things out in cliffs near uh, populous areas or where a lot of people would be going by, and they put plaques of stone and whatever else in there bearing messages. We found the cutouts. We found the cross holes. If you read in the book of Matthew and the Gospels where it talks about Christ's death, it says the earth shook violently and the rocks were rent. Right to the left of the cross hole, at the base of where Christ died on the cross, the rock was rent. After Christ died and the centurion stuck his spear into Christ's spleen and the blood and water came out, it went down through that crack. It went on to the mercy seat of the Ark of the Covenant that God had arranged to be hidden in that chamber 600 years before Christ died. Just a brief look around the surrounding areas here to identify that location of this site. Down to the left of course is down where the work's being done in the excavation. As you hear the uh, electric jackhammer, we have been probing around up here by the cross hole and just immediately to the left of the film container, you see some dark pigmented material. Now this appears to be dried blood, but we do plan to put some of this in the uh, film case and take it back and have it analyzed to see if it is blood. Now this is right under the cutouts where Christ uh, was crucified and near the cross hole that we believe to be the one he was crucified on. Okay, right at the very tip of the uh, tab is some more of this real dark material. As soon as it's exposed to the light it begins to turn a lighter brown. And this uh, is typical of very old blood. So we'll take some more of this sample here. And it seems to have come down 
through this area here as we've collected it all the way along and down into this crevice that communicates with the chamber that the Ark of the Covenant's in. It comes right down through here and down this way and around through a crack right in here and down through this area. Anyway, I have a, several samples of it that I have taken. <laughs> 